See, this is talking about. Why is it when I come home, I see an eviction notice on the front door? And look at my wife. Just in there acting like a home. Casual just packing stuff up while we getting put out. You mind telling me what happened? Yes. I bought the car sitting outside. Okay. I bought myself a Chanel bag. You bought yourself a Chanel bag, but you didn't pay for the mortgage? I wanted to do something. Are you crazy? Have you lost your mind? Did you really just sit here and tell me you bought a Chanel bag? Meanwhile, we were seven but months behind all our mortgage. The lights are still on. For who? Not for us? And the next person's gonna live in this house? That doesn't serve us any good. You watch TV, there's a remote. Where am I gonna watch TV at? Outside? On the street? Look. You really sit yeah. here and act like ain't nothing going wrong and it's not a big deal and we're literally getting put out of our house. You? Do you forget how hard we work for this house? I saved for years to put even a, a damn payment on this house. I, I trusted you with my money. I bought you something. I don't care about that. Take it back. I don't want anything. I want my house. I cannot believe this. And you just acting like ain't nothing wrong right now. You, oh my God. Like, we, are you kidding me? What, you want to help me? No. I want my house. Well, you won't have another house. Where? Where? Not this one. This is the, this is the house that I want. Yes, we're getting put out because you were irresponsible. I trusted you all this time. And you've been sitting here acting careless, spending money on clothes, bags, and, and, and what is, what is all this other stuff? Is that a, a computer? Like, what, what is going on? Yes. I can't, I'm really just really shocked by how cool and how chill you are about this. We have an eviction notice. We're getting put out. We don't have nowhere to stay. We don't have anywhere to stay right anymore. Help you pack? No! I can't even look at you right now. I don't even know if I want to be with you anymore. What yes, you yes. Then leave. Yeah, I think I might. Look, oh, really? And then leave. Okay. So you just don't care about nobody but yourself. If that's what you think. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is this is just crazy to me. What, what are you doing? I'm packing into that house. You have to leave by tomorrow. Wow. So you might want to start. And you weren't even going to say anything. Well, you were saying. I, I, I had to come home to an eviction notice. I've been at work all day, and I'm coming home to an eviction notice because my wife is out here spending money on Chanel bags and instead of paying the bills like she's supposed to. Well, let me tell you something. You don't do anything. You don't do, you don't have a job. I've been trusting you with my money. And that's why I have a computer, so I can get a job. Well, you have, well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't even matter anymore. You wouldn't even have, you wouldn't have to do that if you were being responsible. Hmm. <sighs> we mirror each other. We mirror ourselves. Your wife is a reflection of you. What does this say about the man? Because the onus has to be on the man. She doesn't respect you to do this. You entrusted her with the money. She goes and buys a Chanel bag. She doesn't respect you. Don't respect the family. And all the, if this video is true, if this is what just mocking about. When you're dating someone, before you get married to them, you would have some idea who they are before you get married to them. He knew who was marrying. He was marrying a child. He, she, this is a very immature woman. So it's his fault, ultimately. It's not, it's, she is who she is. <laughs> if you're marrying her, what does that say about you? She's not going to take accountability. She's not. <laughs> it's your fault. It's your problem. It's, it's all your fault. So somehow deep down, you know you got married to an immature person, but you entrusted her with the family finances. <laughs> man, you deserve what you get, man. No sympathy for you, man. I hope, they get, I hope you guys get kicked out. I hope you end up in the streets with your ass out. Man. You deserve it. You're your fool. <laughs>